Hi, this is Nick Haraz of Creative 111 here with Boris Effects to bring you a very exciting tutorial on working with VR units inside of DaVinci Resolve. The immersive 360 VR video market continues to grow with more outlets for viewing spherical video and affordable new 360 and 180 cameras coming to market regularly. 360 video content is found all over the web as well as mainstream portals such as New York Times and CNN and runs the gamut from narrative entertainment broadcast journalism, to live sporting events, and much, much more. Editing and finishing 360 VR video requires specialized tools to process spherical video formats. They come in multiple flamers, such as monoscopic and stereoscopic, 360, 180, to name a few. Some companies like Adobe, Final Cut Pro 10, as well as DaVinci Resolve with their new edition of Fusion, have some tools for general 360 video editing, but there are no cross-host tools to enable sharing between editing, effects, and the color correction finishing stages. This is where the VR units come into play. We're going to take a look at three of them in this movie. We're going to look at VR Sharpen, the VR Flicker Fixer, as well as VR Blur for our 360 content that we can work with right inside of DaVinci Resolve. I have a specialized custom project set up here, and I want to show you why you can't just place a regular blur from DaVinci Resolve on a clip. So I have a clip here selected, and I've uh, on the in my inspector, you can see it's a box blur. And I'm using the BCC VR Reorient to preview this footage. And as I preview this, there's actually a seam across my clip. That seam wasn't there. If I turn off the box blur, look, the clip looks fine without it. The reason for this is, this is an effect that was meant to be placed onto flat footage, not spherical footage. Let me just remove the box blur and also remove the reorient from this clip. And I'm gonna head over to my open effects area here and apply the BCC VR blur. The great part about this blur, if I go to the open effects, is that it has some great controls for both blurring the X and the Y axis. And if I apply my BCC VR Reorient now, just right after that, and double click this effect to reveal its controls. Under Reorient, if I choose to do a view mode of preview, you'll notice that as I move around this image from left to right and up and down, there is no seam that comes across the blur, meaning it's uniform across the entire image. I'll just disable VR Reorient, but notice the amazingness of working with the BCC VR Blur. And also just keep in mind that you can save a preset to memory so you never have to blur your clip again, or also load a blur if you've set this up in another NLE or application that supports Boris FX plugins. Another thing that you need to do in 360 footage is sharpen your video, especially if you're going to a head mounted display, as well as if you're going to social media. What you'll see is that once you start to move around your sphere, this footage that's in front of us right now will look a lot softer. Enter BCC VR Sharpen. If I apply this to what happens to be a 180 stereoscopic clip, if I select the clip and go to the inspector, First of all, under the source, I have the ability to make sure that this is identified as a stereo left-right clip, as well as it's 180 degrees. By examining the source, it applies a sharpening strength, as well as finer detail to the shot to preserve some of that detail up to the amount that you need. Not to mention a lot of detailed tuning that you can use in very specific situations. At any time, of course, you can reset the effect and adjust the sharpening strength to as you see fit. One other great thing about this particular effect is your ability to compare the before and after of applying this. I mean, if I come in here and do a side-by-side -side comparison, what we'll see here is if I continue to wipe this, I can see what the clip looks like before and after. Another thing we wanna keep in mind is that on certain cameras, here I have a stereoscopic top and bottom camera from a views camera but certain prosumer cameras can actually create flicker across your image, such as in this example here. I would like to remove this flicker, so I'm gonna use the BCC VR Flicker Fixer. I'll apply it to the clip, and with the clip selected, head over to the inspector to my open effects area and choose a method of solving this flicker. I'm gonna choose Temporal Smooth YCC because I know it works well on this clip, and after it's done calculating this, Choose from a variety of temporal smoothing options to either increase the smoothness, the color range, and the maximum frames involved in the operation. If I play this clip back now, we should see that the smoothing is rendered across the clip. And there you have it, three of the filters available from the VR units. Download a copy today. Check out Boris Effects on all social media channels. I'm Nick Haraz. Thanks so much for watching.